What's up? This is Lee from Born of Osiris and you're watching RichardThinks.org. Hey everybody, this is Richard of RichardThinks.org. Today we are out at Empire in Springfield, Virginia for the Born of, uh, Born of Osiris, The Word Alive, and Norma Jean show. And I got with me, Lee. Uh, I'm doing great, man. Stuck to be here. This has always been a favorite venue of ours when it was called Jack's and then uh, they changed it to the Empire and made it nicer inside. So it's a cool spot. Very cool. So. So yeah, your latest album Discovery has been out for a year and a half now. So what's been, how's it been all the reaction been so far? Great, yeah, definitely good. Um, it's been fun. We, we you know we kind of like moved into a house and made that record collectively together. You know, for the first time, it was more of like a total group collaboration. It was, it's been, uh, you know, so we're most proud of it, and uh, I think that's that's why it means a lot. To, you know, that the people took it well. Um, you know, everybody always has mixed opinions on this and that and this and that and this, but like, you know, overall, out of all of our records, I think that was the most well received. Very cool. So let's go ahead and play a game with the, with the album title Discovery. What's Great. one thing you've discovered about yourself in the year that it's been, that it's been out? That was album. Since it's been out, um, I don't know, the, the album title Discovery came about what we were discovering about ourselves at the time it was being made. Um, since it came out, I don't know what I've discovered about myself. We've been touring a lot. And uh, actually, I guess since since it came out, we, we've got more uh, confidence in our production and stuff. Because that was the first record of ours that we produced. And um, I guess I, we learned that you know we're definitely capable of doing it. And uh, at the time it was being made, um, we were discovering you know how well we could work together. And, um, you know, and discovering a lot about the lyrical content it had a lot to do with the, uh, the title of Discovery, um, which I wouldn't be the best person to describe that, but that's kind of a little bit about you know, why it's called the Discovery and why they discovered it. Very cool. So what's one thing that you've discovered about the world during the time that you guys have been traveling? Um, a lot of fun, a lot of fun in this world. I don't know. I discovered about the world. Since the discovery came out, or just yeah, in general. Since the came out. To be honest, we we've been touring the same places that we always toured uh, since the discovery came out. So I don't know if we've learned anything new because we're going to the same places. But maybe in all the years of touring, you know, we've learned a bit um, about how the music scene works in different countries and states and stuff. And, um, you know, the coast of the U.S. They're both totally different. You know, one's more like a metal, one's more like a hardcore coast. In Europe, it's like really all about music like totally like that and like in the states you find that you know your band could be successful just off of the image you know your music could be terrible sometimes and then uh, you could get away with it <laughs> look good i don't know i guess i've learned that i've learned a million that's a, that's a lot that's a really good discovery actually for sure <laughs> so you know i heard you guys are writing a new album so what's what's going on with the new album? uh we've been writing you know since the discovery we're always writing, really. You know, we never really write when it's time to do an album. We're just always writing. This is what we love to do. Um, and I mean, like a week before we recorded Discovery, um, we were making the song Ascension, which is on the Discovery. So, like I said, even a week before studio time, we're not. We never really stop. Um, so we've been writing since it's been out. Um, we have a lot of songs. We, we were about to, we were going to record it before the summer because we wanted to put some stuff out for uh, for Warp Tour. We didn't get around to doing it. The label, you know, was like, "What would happen if, um, you know, you waited a little bit?" We we're just like, "Well, we could make more songs." And, uh, so they said, "We should do it." We made more songs, and you know, as a as a writer, I think you're always most proud of your recent work. So we're thankful that you know they they said to maybe just wait a minute, and uh, because the songs we've written since wouldn't have been on there if it wasn't for that. So um, yeah, I mean, we got plenty of songs. We have like you know, potentially two records worth of material, but we're gonna just like. You know, yeah, like make it better what we have and continue to create more until the last minute as usual. Yeah. And then we'll pick the best of all of it and use that, I guess. So what do you think has been the biggest challenge since, you know, Board of Osiris has been when you guys first started? What do you think has been the biggest challenge? Um, and have you ever come You know, it's, it's metal music, so I'd say the biggest challenge is making a living, to be honest. Um, you know, like we have a house together, it gets to the point where you're touring so much that you know you can't kind of live with your parents anymore. So as your band gets bigger, you make more money, but you have more expenses. So it may appear that bands show up with crazy light shows and crazy production, and people see that we have a house and see our YouTube Cribs thing, and you know they assume that you're you know, making all this money. But at the same time, along with that stage production and that house and all that stuff, and putting that money into that stuff. Um, so I think making a living in general. I mean, it's not possible. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. 
years, you know, six years later. But um, that's definitely the biggest challenge. It's not a, it's not a radio genre, you know, especially with us. It's you know, 90% screaming. Um, it's not the easiest way to make, you know, a living. But that's not why we have got into you know, to make money and stuff like that. So it's cool. But uh, I would say that's that's probably the hardest part about it. Okay. So if you could go back in time, you know, right before you guys started Warrior Size, if you could tell yourself one thing, what would be one thing you tell yourself? Um, it's funny, but I guess I would have to say that spend a bit more time in the social networking thing. Um, we've never been like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram people. We're not really like that, you know. But like, it's huge, man. What it, what it can do for your band, you know. Like, people want to know what you're doing on Twitter. They want to see the pictures that you're posting and all these things. I would say from the beginning, we would have started to do more of that stuff because although we don't think it's very like the coolest thing, and we may not think that people want to see the pictures we have to post and read the tweets and all that stuff. You know, um, there are people that want to see that stuff, and now social networking is bigger than ever. You know, like, like you'll get like 50 likes out of probably like uh, like your meal. Yeah, and totally. Then, anything, you know? <laughs> or probably start an argument about. Yeah, and we've always been the people that are like, oh, people don't want to see this picture. What do they care? But like, you know, people do. And it's the same. Same with me. You know, there's artists that I follow. Or, on any of those websites, and, uh, and I'm interested to see what they're doing. It's cool, it's it's weird, you know, like, even us getting signed, we never left Chicago when we got signed, you know, and um, so that's just an example of why the internet and social networking and all that stuff can help you, you know, it can be your enemy and it can be your friend, and at this point in time, if you want to make a, a living out of music, you just kind of got to go with it. I would say, uh, you know, just have fun with that kind of stuff. So you guys covered a system of a system of a down. Now, if you could have anybody come, any band that's together still or you know broke up, what band would you like to see put their own twist on a board of a song? Um, I would like to see a band called Sick, but uh, maybe do a cover. They're way sick, man. I don't I don't think they're they're not a band anymore. Uh, they're from the UK. They have like two vocalists, I believe. Such a good drummer, amazing inspirational guitar players, especially for me. Um, yeah, they're not they're not doing much anymore. Um, but yeah, if they were a band still, I would love to see them take one of our songs and rip it up. <laughs> so what's next for you guys after this? You guys got you guys got anything coming up that we can talk about? Yeah, we got um, this tour ends in like three weeks. We have a week off, you know, for Halloween and stuff. So we'll have fun with that, and then uh, we do another headliner with Unearth. Um, contortionist and uh, you know some more bands and um, the album we're gonna try to record it in February and uh, be on you know one of the bigger summer tours we hope next summer and release the album on it and, uh, that's about it right now oh Europe Australia um, all those places are early next year as well but no like dates or bands that we're doing with it's just all planning very cool. Well, thank you again. Thanks for taking the time, Lee. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Lee of Port of Osiris, Richard of RichardThinks.org, signing off. See ya.